The reality is, my brothers and sisters, I know today there is a huge debate about music. I want to mention again, we spoke about logic a little bit earlier. We know from a religious perspective, the ruling. Let's speak about from a logical perspective. Wallahi, now I have done my own little research with non-Muslims. And I have asked religious non-Muslims, I'm talking of Christians and Jews and Hindus, etc. Naming top pop stars from the music industry. Would you allow your children to listen to this person? Never. Would you allow them this? Never. Would you allow them that? Never. Why? It's dirty, it's immoral, it's filthy, it's degrading, and it's unacceptable, not in my home. But you're a Christian, I know, not allowed. But you're a Jew, not allowed in my home. But you're a Hindu, never, not with my children. Why? Because the industry is dirty, that's what it is. So people argue, no, there is maybe perhaps, I do agree. Perhaps the doof is permissible within certain limits, within certain limits. Perhaps if you are singing an Islamic song with beautiful meanings, perhaps within limits, there is a certain permissibility. But here I'm speaking of the musical instruments and the music industry, whereby people start shaking. I don't even know what. It comes naturally. They say it's natural. It's not natural. It's shaitan's way of controlling you. You listen to the beat. The beat continues. You start tapping your finger. You start moving your head. A little while later, you start moving the top of your body. And a little while later, you start moving the bottom of it. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgive us. And the words have become so dirty, my brothers and sisters, that it is a sign of the hour. And people say, nothing wrong. My brother, you have a beard that reaches the ground and you're still bopping. Astaghfirullah. May Allah forgive you and forgive all of us. You cannot do that. We need to be careful. I want to teach you something very, very beautiful. Why don't you replace that with the Quran? Melodious recitation. Listen to Ra'ad al-Kurdi. Listen to anyone else that you would perhaps like Sa'ad al-Ghamidi. Beautiful recitals of your choice. Abdul Basit, Abdul Samad, whoever else you like. There will be so many people. Replace it. It's beautiful. It's soothing. Go onto YouTube and check how the non-Muslims reacted to a, a, a survey or a little test, an experiment that was done where they were told to listen to this Quran without knowing it's the Quran and comment about it. Wallahi, now in Europe, the test was done recently and a lot of them say, it's so calm, it's so cool, it's so soothing. I feel spiritual. Go and listen to the answers. It's their life for everyone to see. And we Muslims who have the Quran, we are not achieving any soothing, no comfort, no nothing from this. How and why? Surely you can replace it. I would rather be resurrected and arrive in the presence of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, having known as a person who gave up dirty music for the words of yours, O oh Allah. I didn't want to listen to all of this. I gave it up. I know there was a debate about halal, haram. I do know the majority of the scholars said it's not permissible. I do know some of them said, okay, within a certain scope, it's okay. But remember those who say within a certain scope, it's okay. None of them say that the musical industry of today is permissible. Not even one of them. I would rather come in front of Allah and be resurrected as a person who just substituted all of this for the Quran.